Hi, and welcome back. Uh, Aaron Anastasia here with Superior Singing Method, and this is my series of the, the psychology of singing, or the psychology of being a singer, and what, what, that, what that looks like. So this is a little different spin on what I've done before, you know, with the tips and tricks and vocal exercises. All that stuff is great, I believe in that, but I think that this is one thing that could radically help you um, on top of all that, all that stuff. So I want to talk about how to versus want to, okay? Uh, how, the how, obstacle, how do I do that? Well, I don't know how, I'd love to do this, I just don't know how, and yeah, of course I would like that, I just don't know how. That is the number one stuck mistake for any endeavor, certainly with singing, becoming a singer, learning how to sing, and and getting mastery over singing, and being successful, whatever that looks like in 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 your world, and whatever it is that, that you're looking for. I don't know how to do it, of course I'd like to do that, I just don't know how to do it. Um, <laughs> a thought just came to my mind that I want to say, but I'm going to wait till a little bit later. You will create the how when you decide to do it. Another way to say that is the how is inherent in the what. Deciding what you want to do, once you begin to move forward, you'll discover the how. Okay? And I've said some of this in the previous videos, but I want to, I want to go a little deeper with this. I have a coach, okay? I've had a lot of vocal coaches, but I've got a coach that's just like a, a, a life coach of sorts. And, and I've been meeting with him for, for years and years, and it's been hugely helpful. My life has changed radically in every area of my life. And one thing he said is when I was, I was telling him that I wanted to, this years ago, I wanted to be an actor. I love acting. I'd done a lot as a kid and, you know, done a lot of comedy and stand up and improv and stuff like that. But I wanted to act. And I said, I, I really want to do this. And I've been wanting to do this forever. And, um, he looked me right in the face and he said, I don't believe you. And so, of course, I was like, who do you think you are? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? You don't know me. You don't, you don't know what I want. But he went on to explain that if I really wanted to act, I would be doing something to move in that direction. The fact was, and the truth was, and he was dead right, that what I really wanted was to complain about it. What I really wanted was to play safe. What I really wanted was to be in my comfortable world and not be out there risking because that was scary and I may look foolish and, and I may fail and I may, whatever it was, you know, I had all these, all these reasons. So he was absolutely right. My want to was at about a one. In my mind, I was like, this is my destiny and I'm gonna, I really want to do this. But my actions proved, you know, the physical universe of what was actually, what current reality was, is I didn't really want that. I mostly wanted to stay safe. I mostly wanted to just complain about the industry and there's no way to break in and, and whatever, whatever complaints I had at the time. Because there's always ways to do anything that you want. So this is the how-to versus want-to, right? So I just didn't know how. Well, I, I don't know how. I don't know how to do it. Okay, so, <laughs> so he... Uh, there's always ways to do it, and that that's what he was saying was anything you want to do in life, so if it's singing, there's ways to figure out how to do it, and there's ways that you can do begin to do the thing even at a small level. You know, let's say you wanted to be a, a, a public speaker. There's ways to be a public speaker. You can do free public speaking things um, in any way you want. You know, if somebody wants, oh, I want to be a social worker. Well, there's all kinds of ways that you can volunteer and do that until that somehow leads into a job or until you figure out the how, because the how is inherent in the what. You decide what you want to do, you go do it, and the how just kind of shows up. The information is is there. So what really needs to happen is you need to crank the want up enough. What is it that you want, and what do you want more than staying safe? What do you want more than the idea that you might fail? What do you want more than uh, than uh, than playing not to lose rather than playing to win? You see how that is? That's what I was doing. I was playing so safe that it was like I wasn't playing to win. I just was playing not to look dumb, not 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 to lose. So what is it? How do you crank that want up of singing enough and get goals so clear and a vision? Really getting a vision so clear that this is that that this compels me every morning I wake up to reach this vision I'm compelled to do it because it's it is that exciting for me for me to do it um, the thing I thought of earlier that I think fits now fits in the content better now than it did when I thought of it a second ago is um, Byron Katie she's a she's a great coach and she says uh, you could have anything you want in this world if you're willing to ask a thousand people for it 
You can have anything, literally anything you want if you're willing to ask a thousand people. But we don't want to make those requests. Oh, I don't want to bug him. Uh, I, you know, he's busy or, you know, she's this or they won't want to help me or whatever it is. But if you're willing to ask a thousand people, obviously you don't need to ask a thousand people. But what we do is we ask one or two people, maybe, and then if they say no, we get discouraged and then we kind of move on. But if we'll continue to ask and ask, we can have anything we want in this world. It, it really, it really is absolutely true. So what is it that you would have to do to crank up that want, to make that vision so compelling that when you wake up in the morning, you're excited to get an action about this vision? What is that vision that, that you are, that you want to obtain? And along with this is, um, another, an, another coach says this and, <laughs> It's kind of strong language, um, not like swearing language, but it's strong language, but to make a point. And he talks about the idea of having a goal. He says that a goal is for people who don't have the courage to make a decision. Okay, a goal is for some, you know, people like, oh, you know, I'm going to do this someday. Oh, I've, I've got this goal. I think I'm going to try. You see that language? I think I'm going to try, or I've got this goal. I may do this, or that kind of language, rather than committing to it and saying, this is what I'm doing. I'm making a decision today. It's part like that video, one of the first videos, I think it was the first video, the idea of being all in is saying, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Whereas a goal is like, oh, I think, in fact, it triggers, when we use the word try and we use the word someday, that actually neurologically triggers us into what's called an alpha state in our mind. An alpha state is when you're watching TV and it's just that total like passive like state of like, comfortability and not really moving forward. That's called the alpha state. The word try and the word someday turn us, click into that state. So it's really dangerous because when we say, oh, someday I want to be a singer. I want to be an actor. I want to be a whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, and that someday has a certain pacifying effect. It has a tranquilizing effect on us where we're like, yeah, I feel better because I'm saying I'm going to do it someday and I think I will do it someday, but we haven't made a decision and we're not getting an action, these small little actions to go, to go after it. So this is the how to versus the want to. So anytime you, anytime you catch yourself saying, well, yeah, I would want that. I just don't know how to understand that it's, that's not, I get that and I, I'm not mad at you for thinking that, but it, it's, it's not, that's not really what's going on. The want to hasn't been cranked up enough. You would rather the other things in your life, like my coach told me, your life is perfect. You have exactly what you want. You want to stay safe and, you know, and you want all these other things more than you want to really go after that vision. And he was right. And again, fast forward to today, I've had a lot of successes now with acting and filmmaking and, and it's been, it's, it's, it's been a blast. So make a decision today. What is it that you want and, and, and begin to go after it. Okay. Believe in your bigness. There's more in you than you realize. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do so now. Then you'll know when the other videos are coming out. For my favorite and best exercise, click here. And for a lot of other con content and like techniques on how to sing, um, you can click the link below and click here and you can f go to Superior Singing Method if you, if you're interested in any of that as well. And also leave me a comment. I'm writing a book, as you probably know by now, if you've seen any of these other videos. And it's about the psychology of being a singer. And I would love your feedback. Of, of what, of this video, what you liked, what you maybe didn't, and just any, any thoughts or comments or questions. I would love to get that. And so I can make a book that would appeal to you and to, that would really serve humanity in a way that they can get moving and get motivated and, and get in action toward their dream.